And that breaking news we begin with is coming out of Shelby County, where witnesses told police they heard multiple shots fired and a possible standoff. With the help of our TV lights, you can still see some of the devastation. Take a look at the roof of the community center here, completely shattered. Right now, I'm standing on what was once called the shelter house. And doctors tried to save the victim, believed to be in his 30s, but had no luck. Investigators telling me he was shot here in the 3100 block of Guilford Avenue, his car just on the other side of the flashing lights. And it feels great, especially with the breeze, Lauren, from the water splashing on me. I can tell you, the folks you see in the pool behind me, they were lining up to get in before the gates even open. Police are looking for a driver who lost control of his Jeep and slammed into a house. This happened around 3 this morning. If you are behind the wheel, police say there are a few things you can do to protect yourself. First, start by only cracking the window. Then grab your phone and call 911. When you look at this video behind me, it's hard to believe no one died. Four-year-old Andre says he wants to be a police officer when he grows up. Today, he fulfilled his duty to serve and protect. We could be going to a funeral today, so I'm, I'm very... <sighs> I was just waiting, was in the house and I saw a fire coming out the plug. I just said, it was fire, mommy. That scream saved his mom and two others. That's my man. <laughs> I'm just glad that he had wisdom. He is only four. His name is Andre McGowan, and because he likes to draw. It was just gone. It was just wriggling. He drew us a picture of the flames flying from the electrical outlet in his room on Graham Avenue. But it was the alarm of my child that let me know, okay, there's something going on because he's not going to just yell, yell, keep continually yelling my name. I just yell, I was yell in and out of the house so the fire wouldn't get on her hands too. But first, this little one tried to fight the flames. And I just rolled on. Mom, who was living here with the relatives, is glad she didn't blow off teaching her child fire safety. He had the knowledge, the wisdom, and the smarts enough to let us know that something was going on instead of hiding. Um, and so I'm just grateful to God that he knew that and we all got out alive. Talk about a family that's fortunate. Andre says he was lying in bed watching TV. He was trying to fall asleep, but for some reason he couldn't. And everything you see in this picture behind me gives you an idea of the damage. They lost everything. But interestingly, while most four-year-olds are worried about toys, little Andre was only sad because his church clothes were destroyed. Aww. Impressive little guy. What a and sweetheart. the hands, were they burned in the... No injuries. No one was injured. But he reached his hand that's out so he tough. could feel the heat yeah. from the flames. That's why. I used to stay at my mom's house on the weekends, and he would come in the living room and he would molest me while she was sleeping. Ashley Schautner says the sexual abuse happened behind the walls of this home on Ohio Street. What was the hardest part about all of this for you uh, growing up? Um, in just knowing that that happened, having to think about it all the time, having to go to my mom's house and spend the night, and knowing that he's going to come in there and do that to me while I'm sleeping. The 22-year-old, who didn't want to show her face, was only nine when she says Garrett Cornell abused her. Cornell is the Noblesville bus driver accused of videotaping a sexual encounter with another nine-year-old. Cornell is her mom's ex-boyfriend. I was afraid to tell, but after a while, I ended up saying something. And so did her mother. Tuesday, we showed you a copy of the report the family says Child Protective Services turned over to Anderson PD in 1999. According to this document, CPS substantiated the child molestation claims against Cornell and turned its case over to Anderson Police for further investigation. But there were no criminal charges. During that time, we were transitioning um, from an old system, from an index card system to uh, new world system on our computers. Could have been lost in cyberspace. It's possible, and that's why we couldn't pull it up. The victim still can file a police report, uh, and an investigation uh, can be open into a molest. More than likely, I will. I mean, he's going to get life in prison anyway, so what's a few more charges? I am angry about it because it took this long. I'm wondering how many other people there are out there that he did this to that they haven't said. 
they haven't spoke up and said that he's touched them yet and I want them to come out about it. I want them to not be afraid anymore. I want them to come out and say that he's done this to me too. You're such a big inspiration. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Sorry to bring tears to everybody's eyes. No, it ended with students sharing their appreciation. And it really is inspiring that through all this, you know, you've kept your faith and you've only been stronger. I don't know why I'm so emotional. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Never emotional. Andrea Valinga's misfortune has led to healing for so many. She and her brother Tyler shared their message of hope, faith, and courage during hard times to 1,300 Pendleton Heights High students. I also just want to thank everyone for your support. I'm so honored to be here and never imagined this would happen to me, And period. Going to a concert and being part of a stage class, especially a band I loved at the time. She's amazing, you know, she went through all of that stuff and it's like, she can do that. I mean, what can I do with my life? Andrea surprised doctors by surviving the state fair rigging collapse. Mid-speech, another surprise. Just being in this gym reminds me of volleyball with my favorite coach ever. And I get to be here this year to help coach volleyball. I can't wait with her. Coincidentally, she delivered that message on the same court she once dominated as an outside hitter. And I'm positive that you've changed every girl in here. While each sunrise signifies a new day, sometimes peppered with obstacles, Andrea, who turns 31 tomorrow, has proven she's up to the challenge. I just can't explain to you how much you are a role model to me. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Linked at the arm. Singing old Negro spirituals, this is reminiscent of civil rights demonstrations in the 60s, but it's Indianapolis today. The killing of Trayvon Martin has struck a nerve. If those who are driving past feel inconvenienced by our stopping of traffic, we want everyone to know how inconvenienced Trayvon Martin's mother and father feel. Sunday, Pastor David Hampton and hundreds from his congregation at Light of the World Block North Michigan for nearly 45 minutes demanding justice in the name of Trayvon Martin. But their peaceful demonstration took a turn. You are obstructing traffic unlawfully and without permission in violation of Indiana law. I am ordering you to leave the street and return to the church parking lot. You have five minutes. If you do not leave, you will be arrested. It's been over a month with no arrest, no apprehending of his gun, no apprehending of him. Uh, so today we are willing to go to jail for Trayvon Martin. You are currently obstructing traffic in violation of Indiana law. If you do not leave the street now, you will be arrested. 68 years old, man. I seen it all. I seen it all, man. 13 were arrested, including Marva Shaw. Marva, have you ever been arrested before? No. Never been to jail. 76 years old. The 76-year-old was the first arrested and the oldest. You consider yourself placed under arrest. But it wasn't the first time for their leader. And if necessary, he says it won't be the last. I commend the Indianapolis Police Department for doing their job, for arresting those who are obstructing traffic, while Sanford Police Department will not arrest somebody who's committed murder.